It's a captured German passenger ship that had been converted to a troop carrier called the Leviathan. And there would be between nine and 11,000 soldiers crowded onto this ship. And the reports that later came about some of the passages of the Leviathan are actually the stuff of horror movies. This is like something out of The Walking Dead or a zombie movie when you hear the doctors describe what they were seeing and the death and destruction from this disease spreading through these troops who were absolutely helpless. And the doc doctors were helpless. This was a virus, a virus at a time when they did not know what a virus actually was. Doctors had seen bacteria. Scientists had seen bacteria. They were more easily seen under a microscope of that time. Um, I mentioned the Leviathan because we have very clear records of how awful, uh, accounts of how awful that trip was. But I bring it up also because it carried passengers back as well to the United States. Some of them sick when they left Europe, some who got sick on the way over. One of those passengers was a young undersecretary of the Navy who had been touring the uh, uh, trenches in France and came back to New York and got deathly sick while he was on that trip back on the Leviathan. He was taken by ambulance when he arrived in New York, taken to his mother's home and nursed back to help, health very, very slowly and uh, again, on death's door. His name was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Imagine how history might have changed if Franklin D. Roosevelt had not survived the Spanish flu.